Today on People Now. We are warming up your winter skin. To keep you glowing all season long. Plus. She really piles on the brown contour color, so I'm gonna do the same and hope for the best. We tried it. Kim Kardashian is the contour queen, people. Plus. It's called the vampire facial because it gets a little gory. They actually use your own blood that they extract from your arm. Have you ever heard of the vampire facial? We tried that too. We're ready for you. <laughs> Let's go. Hey everybody, welcome to People Now. Boy, do we have a packed show for you today. Beauty trends, makeup myths, you name it, and our People editors have tried it. And we'll be showing you guys everything from placenta facials, yes, to contouring secrets straight from the stars. We're covering it all, really. Uh, first joining us today is People Style and Beauty Director, Andrew Laventhal, who will be sharing some of her favorite travel must-haves during the busy holiday season. Hello, Andrea. Hi, Jeremy. Uh, let's hold off on the placenta facials. We'll get to that in a second, but first we start here. We have packing travel-friendly beauty products. It's, look, mm -hmm. it's a huge pain in the butt. It can be if mm -hmm. we don't have the right things, but you have some secrets for us. Yeah, these are some of my favorite travel beauty essentials. Okay. Everybody sort of has their own way of schlepping their beauty products. Okay. These are some things maybe to add into your existing arsenal. Okay, let's start right over here. Okay, so these are Skin Fix face cleansing cloths. And what I love about these is they're individually packaged. So they're not gonna dry out, they're okay. travel friendly, TSA right. friendly, and I sometimes even use them to like wipe my hands off okay. or yeah. my This is kind of a good thing just to, track. look, anytime you travel, especially on a plane or whatever, mm -hmm. it just feels nice to kind of yeah. refresh. In Go in the bathroom. Oh, <laughs> a little under the arm. You said, it? that's exactly right. It's great. <laughs> Staying fresh, all right. So on the face cleansing, this, these are really cool. These are sticks. This is like a new trend. This one's by Julep. It's called Love Your Bare Face. Okay. So wait, a stick to roll on your face? Yeah, you just wet it and you use it to cleanse. It's TSA friendly. Again, nothing's going to spill. Looks just like uh, deodorant. Yeah. I knew you were going to say that. I Don't put it under your arms. <laughs> okay, right. It's just not going to work. Wow, that's really interesting. And cool? again, you said TSA approved. They'll yeah, because it's it's Small. a solid. It's a solid, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Unlike this, which is a liquid. This is but my it's a small favorite. I do not travel without some kind of face spray. Okay. Very high maintenance, yeah. I know. <laughs> this one from SW Basics is from Target. It's okay. like four bucks, which is great. No, actually, it's not four. I think it's like 14. Okay. Still great. Whatever. Still great. Is it just water? It's rose water. Ah, so it so smells it's like a rose. Soothing and hydrating. Just makes you oh feel my really refreshed. Wow, like a spring morning. Mm -hmm. All I, of a sudden, I just woke up in the country in a <laughs> field of roses. I like to spray this on my face on the plane, and then people will be like, I'm like, would you, would you like them? Oh, really? And usually they say yes. You're the favorite person on the plane. Yeah, also. who wouldn't like Someone has an allergy and they sneeze the rest of the time. Anyway, all right, uh, we'll move on down here. Oh, to the box. Yeah, so this is a great time of year to buy these little specialty okay. kits. A lot of the brands will package some of their best sellers in these mini sizes and you get a really good value. So the mask, the moisturizer, all the face stuff. Yeah, and this is like their best sellers and it's travel friendly sizes. You can experiment with new products on for a better price. Yeah, so try those out. Not not a full commitment with the full bottle not size full or whatever. Commitment. You can test it, see if you like it. All right, so moving on to this thing, which has me intrigued, something to do with hair and I'm, I'm always interested in that. <laughs> it is the Amica Mini Straightening Brush. Okay. So this is not gonna take you from curly to pin straight, but it will smooth your bangs. Okay. Maybe give you a little like lift, lift on the front here. Okay. I appreciate heat. that. It can smooth, you know, some flyaways. So this is great if you're staying somewhere where they have a lousy blow dryer, hotels, your in laws. Maybe even like a layover at the airport, like a long layover. You want to just freshen it up real quick yeah, in the bathroom. Go in the bathroom and just smooth out your. And gym. then what about this thing? What do I we have never here? leave home without a dry shampoo. Okay. And I don't suggest you do either. The dry shampoo, which can make your hair obviously look refreshed. more fresh, like take the oily look away. Yeah, you basically can extend the life of your blowout um, a few more days. I wouldn't tell anybody how many days. You can really just work that. <laughs> four days ago, but no it's big great deal. to have. All right, on over to this, which is like a full makeup kit. Full face of makeup in one palette. It's everything you need to do your makeup. When I travel, I always forget one crucial element. Oh mm -hmm. my God, where's my blush? I forgot that one eyeshadow that I absolutely need. I can't live without it. This has everything plus this cute little brush set, which has different brushes and you can like oh, right. play so with the different ends. You go together in different yeah. ways. Yeah, and there's instructions right. in the palette this. to tell you how to use everything. It's magic. You can contour, you can conceal, you can blush, you can line, you can define the whole thing. Look at this, taking it yeah. out and taking this out too. Three pieces right yeah. there. Isn't it cool? It's amazing. It's four brushes in one. Mind blown. On to this, a candle. Why do we need to travel with a candle? It might seem a little extra. It does. To travel with a little candle, however, 
One time I stayed in one of the stinkiest hotel rooms <laughs> and I never travel without a candle. Are you supposed to light things in a hotel? Whatever. Okay, you get away you with don't it. You don't even have to light it. Sometimes it just the like, scent itself the room. Right, is nice enough. And it makes you think of home or it just makes your space smell nice. Or maybe like you're in a stinky bedroom at the in-laws and you really want to piss them off yeah, and so you just maybe let them know. Folks in the house. Okay, or, right. All I don't right. know. I just love a travel candle. Like I said, it's extra. But I'm hey, extra. if you're if you're extra like Ms. Lavathol, you go for it. It smells amazing too, by the way. And now we have these three uh, scents of some sort. Yeah, so they're rollerball fragrances. Okay. These are Way by Jen Atkin, who's okay. the Kardashian hairstylist. Oh, hello. So the best thing about these is that they're rollerball. Okay. So no spill. No spill. Travel friendly. Travel friendly. It's not like you want to schlep a big bottle of perfume with you in your bag. It's not going to get through TSA. Right. It's going to spill in your carry-on. This is great. They're little, they're there. portable. Kind of do a little on the wrist, yeah, something very, like that. Maybe on the neck, whatever. Yeah, they're very, very I suggest that you mix and match. Oh, you can mix it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you your really business. can. And then finally, I have had one of these before as a gift, the little cocktail kit. Okay, it's not a beauty product. No. However, when I have a cocktail, I feel more beautiful, and I'm sure people think I look more beautiful. <laughs> so I would say pack a little cocktail kit. This one is a Moscow Mule. There it has know. everything you need but the alcohol, but that's easy to get. Right, so it's got the it's like it's got the directions on yeah. how to do it there, which is really cool. And then this little baggie with all these the little- treasures. The treasures inside, including the bitters and uh, kind of everything you need, even a little measuring cup. Uh, okay, look at me, doing the whole thing. Little spoon, my yeah. gosh. Let's one more thing here. And What's the that? syrup, the ginger here. syrup. And here's the thing, I would just recommend that you contour first, cocktail second. <laughs> That's just me. All right, so it's such a great little kit. Thank you, Andrea, for all this. I feel set, I feel ready to go and travel. All these uh, travel easy must-haves here, but guys, of course, there are always those people who will go to extremes, like Kim Kardashian West, who made waves with a vampire facial, and of course, we tried it. Take a look. This facial is called the vampire facial, also referred to as microneedling. It's called the vampire facial because it gets a little gory. They actually use your own blood that they extract from your arm, and then they spin the blood to get the plasma out of your blood, and they apply that to your face. Okay, let's do it. So this is the centrifuge. We put the blood in here, and gravity will actually pull the red blood cells all the way to the bottom, and on top will be the plasma that we use. So now we're gonna do injections of concentrated PRP. This is all plasma, um, platelet-rich plasma. So we wanna do the injections um, under your eye so that we can get rid of that under eye circle that people have that they complain about, um, the discoloration, and since a lot of times you can't put Botox right here to get rid of those fine lines. This will improve any fine lines that you have. So we're gonna do the fine lines around the mouth. We're also injecting anywhere I see like any hyperpigmentation. This is one of the best things you can do for acne scars. All right, so this is the microneedling device. So this tool right here is going to make tiny punctures all over the skin? Exactly. I actually just put this on like a serum and then the microneedle pushes it in as we go. Let's do it. How's that? Not bad? Not bad. Why is this procedure so popular and what are some of the benefits? So I think it's really popular because it's new. Um, but for me, I actually think this is, this is one of my favorite procedures because it really doesn't have um, side effects except for, you know, some redness, a little bit of bruising because it's perfectly safe using your own blood with no additives. What is the typical post-procedure downtime? In most people, the downtime is between 24 to 72 hours of uh, redness. You're supposed to leave this on your skin the entire day. I prefer Don't wash your face. I like that because I think that, um, you know, as the holes heal, you have this PRP sitting on your skin for the rest of the day. But obviously, you know, if you have something to do, I recommend keeping it on for four to six hours if you absolutely have to wash it off later. Well, nothing like a little vampire facial to start off your morning, right? But now that we have our skin prepped and ready to go, it's all about that makeup.
People beauty editor Jackie Fields is joining us to break down some cosmetic trends inspired by our favorite celebrities. Hello, Jackie. Thanks Hi. for being here. I'm so happy to be here. I know. I love talking about beauty products. So makeup, let's dive makeup, in. Makeup. Now, the holidays are the perfect time to show off some very festive looks. So let's start with the eyes. What's right. an easy way to make them stand out? Ooh, okay, I have a few different few different ideas here. So first things first, Jessica Chastain. Love her. Absolutely <laughs> beautiful. So my favorite thing about this is that touch of gold that her and Camille Alves have on their eyelid. Mm -hmm. See that there? That is really, really beautiful. So the good news is that a little bit of gold can go a very long way. The bad news is you can't just sweep on gold shadow and walk out the door. Like Never that easy. A little more effort <laughs> than that. So my favorite thing about both of these looks is that you're seeing that it's rooted in this like black line, right? Mm -hmm. So what I suggest is taking a little bit of gold shadow, uh, putting it on your lid, and then coming in with a beautiful like angled brush and some black eyeshadow and just anchoring that eye right there. I think it's going to be so fresh for the holidays. Nice. And mm -hmm. I see you have a very yeah, specific yeah. brush that yes, you use. Yes, yes. You want to use an angled brush. This one is from MAC Cosmetics. It's beautiful uh, because you really want to be precise. Mm -hmm. And if you are super concerned about getting that line straight, dip the brush in a little bit of water and then put it in your eyeshadow. Nice. And you're absolutely going to get a beautiful straight black line. Nice tip. All right. Yeah. So, you know, along with the eyes, you know, also love the lashes. I know mm -hmm. you have some lashes for us today. So tell yes. me about these. So Jenna Duan can do a fake lash like no other. <laughs> I, but I think the beauty of this is that you really wouldn't know it looks so natural. I, I at least think. Yeah, no, I know. So think for this segment, because I'm so excited about lashes, I actually called up her makeup artist and really? said, what is the secret? <laughs> we gotta and know. His name is Patrick Ta, and he uses these Kiss lashes. These are the ones that are on Jenna in this photo. Mm -hmm. um, the secret is you have to cut the lashes to fit your lash line. You, would, you think it sounds like rocket, rocket science, but it's not. Mm -hmm. You just wanna hold it up, cut it, better for it to be too short than too long, and then you've gotta apply glue and wait. Patience okay. is a virtue. So once you apply the glue, you wanna wait for a few seconds, and then you wanna start from the inner corner of your lash going out, and then once you apply the strip, wait a little longer, put a little mascara on to fuse your lashes together, and I guarantee you, you'll look like Jenna. All right, ooh, that's, I mean, I'm holding you to that. You know. <laughs> um, of course, we know that winter is really rough on all skin types, so how can we give our cheeks a break from that cold flush? It's so funny because I very much want to look like, I just sort of stepped in from the cold, <laughs> um, but I'm very much inspired right now by like, holly berries and cranberries and those beautiful, like not so ruby tones that you're seeing. Mm -hmm. um, so I thought this beautiful, beautiful berry blush that we're seeing on Priyanka was a great example of yeah. exactly what you want to be doing this holiday season. It's not coral, it's not too bright. It's gonna give you exactly what you want to just feel like you've got a little color on your skin, but you're not freezing cold, right? Yeah. So I recommend using a cream blush. This one happens to be Elizabeth Arden. You just wanna dip your finger in and then very gently tap it on your cheeks and diffuse that color out. I mean, you'd be surprised how quickly you can just get a beautiful glow going across your, the apple of your cheek. Now the key is just not to overdo it. I feel like yes. I, if I use blush, I always overdo it. You definitely don't wanna overdo it. <laughs> no one wants that. You know, you can even, if you get too much on your fingertip, you can sort of tap it out on your, you know, mm -hmm. the back of your hand first. And that way you definitely won't go overboard. But I think cream is gonna give you a much more natural look than powder if you're doing it yourself. All right, so now on to the lips. So I know festive red, always a typical go-to around the holidays, but is there a way we can spice this up? Yes, absolutely. So what's happening on the red carpet right now that I'm taking inspiration from is what Lily Collins, Naomi Harris, and uh, January Jones are doing, which is this beautiful, beautiful fuchsia lip. It's very pretty. Isn't it gorgeous? <laughs> I mean, festive, I think so, but unexpected. You want something that's like party ready, but doesn't stress you out too much. And I think this is exactly the fun color that does that. So Lily Collins actually, her makeup artist Fiona Styles just used this pencil. She lined and filled her lips with this. This is a Lancome lip liner. But you can also just run down to the drugstore if you're not a lip liner expert and grab a beautiful, beautiful Some of us fuchsia. Aren't. Some of us, I don't know who, but some of us aren't. Um, and this one happens to be Maybelline. Mm -hmm. uh, this is one of their loaded bolds, it's fiery fuchsia. So it's gonna give you that same great effect, and if you're not a lip liner person, you're gonna get a lot of control out of a typical lipstick, right? We also can't forget the holidays are super busy, so what should we do if we don't have the time for an elaborate eye or statement lip? What are your tips here? Okay, so it turns out there's something Gabrielle Union, Ashley Green, Diane Kruger, and Scarlett Johansson have in common. Mm -hmm. They all have beautiful glowy skin. And what you're seeing in all these photos is there's not a lot of eye makeup, 
There's not a lot of lip. It's not, It's all about that really, really glowy complexion. Okay. One of the secrets to that is using a primer. This one happens to be from Flower. I think this primer is like 14 bucks. Oh, that's but it's not bad at all. really, really gorgeous. It just gives you, it has these reflective pigments in it and it gives you a really, really pretty sheen. You don't have to apply foundation over it, but if you do, you're still gonna get that gleam coming out from underneath. This is so much better than a highlighter stick. Mm -hmm. You don't want to look like you just took a highlighter stick and streaked <laughs> it across your face. Unless that's this what you're is, going for. You know. <laughs> unless you're into that. Unless you are, stro I mean, I don't stroke, so. But this is just really, really gorgeous. And also, this is going to give you an all over glow, which is so much more natural than sort of like pinpointing and having to stress out about like high points of your face. Nobody has time for that. Yeah, so you can put that all over. And you can, you can also probably, you can apply makeup over it too if you want. Oh, absolutely. You can definitely apply your foundation over this if you want, or leave it as is. I love that. Step out the door. It goes in very Maybe put on a little too. lip gloss and move on. Well, thank you for all these tips, Jackie. I You're feel welcome. so prepared to take on the holidays and look great while I'm doing it. Um, you guys, stick around. Jackie will be back for an exclusive We Tried It, inspired by the lovely Alicia Keys. But first, how about a little makeup lesson from the contour queen herself, Kim Kardashian. Kim K is no stranger to sharing her beauty secrets on social media. So the people editors decided to try the star's KKW contour kit. Let's see how they did. Gosh, I'm really getting no direction. You're just letting me do this blindly. This is mean of you. I've seen Kim do this and she really piles on the brown contour color, so I'm gonna do the same and hope for the best. I actually think I'm doing this really wrong, but we'll see. Oh gosh. <laughs> I think I might be too pale for Kardashian makeup. Yeah. Wow, I just used a ton of this. It's already that far down. So maybe that was too much. Oh, I think that's too high. There needs to be an eraser. So now I'm gonna take the highlighter. So Kim uses the, now I sound like I've been stalking the way that she does this. Kim uses the matte kind of as a concealer. So I'm gonna do that too. These almost look like the same color, so I'm kind of confused. So now I'm gonna go in with the highlight shade and there's a matte and a shimmer side. And I'm gonna use the matte side to kind of clean up this line under here and make the contour a little more defined and just if like in case some of the brown went a little too low. And I think you do it up here. Like that. Wait, if Kim can do this in front of all of her Instagram followers, then I can do it too. I just can't imagine as I watch her do this that this becomes her perfect, perfect complexion. It's definitely looking a little bit just like dirt smudge. Oh, that's not good. Oh no. Some of my moves. <laughs> this looks so funny. <laughs> okay, wait. I'm just gonna start blending now. I think I just blended it all in. So now I just have a brown nose. It's blending, I guess, fairly well. Not as seamlessly as I would like. This kind of feels like when you're like, get out of the pool and you try to put sunblock on and it won't rub in. I'm really digging this brush. You can use, it works a lot faster than the sponge does. I think it's not blended and I don't know what else to do. This is Jennifer Aniston, who told people her beauty secret. It's called water. This is Julia Roberts, who confessed her million dollar beauty treatment. It's called sleep. This is Courtney, who escapes to the spa. And Michelle, who swears by good lighting. And this is Beyonce, who woke up like this. These are people's insider trading tips to beauty from the world's most beautiful people. The details make the story. Don't miss this week's people. Grammy-winning artist Alicia Keys shocked the world when she decided to go makeup-free. So naturally, no pun intended, we had to try out this fresh-faced trend for ourselves. People Beauty editor Jackie Fields fully embraced the no makeup challenge in this exclusive We Tried It. Check it out. I think that I'm gonna start doing this at my desk all day long. You think anyone's gonna judge me? Hi guys, Jackie Fields, People Magazine beauty editor here. You might be wondering why I'm standing in the bathroom. I am getting on the Alicia Keys No Makeup bandwagon. I was really inspired after she hit a few red carpets and posed for the cover of her latest album wearing no makeup. 
I don't really like the response that I get when I wear makeup. I don't like the feeling of, oh, you look so pretty. I want to feel pretty even not having makeup on. Let's give this a go. Okay guys, I'm going to be starting with a jade roller. So the way that you use a jade roller is you start with your neck and then in up and down motions, you go from your neck to your face and then out to your forehead. It's very, very cool, but it's very, very soothing. I wish I had someone doing this on me while my eyes were closed and I was eating bonbons. So next, I'm gonna use a few drops of a jojoba oil. I'm glowing already, but in a good way. So next up, we have this really, really cool self-tanning line, Vita Liberata. It smells wonderful. I need to look at the ingredient list. But this is a three-step lip treatment. I'm starting, I'm starting with the lip scrub. So then step three is lip balm. So now I'm gonna use a brow pen to accentuate my beauty marks. I have a few, most notably the one in the center of my forehead, but then I also have one here. I have one here, although that could be a scar, but we're gonna pretend it's a beauty mark anyway. I'm just gonna go in and simply dot over what already exists to make it a little darker. Okay guys, this is it. I'm officially Alicia Keys. I have to run to a meeting. Not sure if anyone's gonna notice. Um, I'm hoping so. And I right, can start to say it's just gonna drag it here. Hey guys. Hi. Hi. Do I look different than I look every day? Something different with your skin. I think you're so. Yeah, your you're skin looks so even. Glowy. More glowy? Yeah. Do you guys notice anything about my beauty marks? I need to study them closely. Up close, it's like you're going to show even on so you have foundation on. Oh my god, it's the best compliment ever. I know, I wish my skin looked like that one. <laughs> <laughs> you don't Do you feel like a girl on fire? Yes. <laughs> yes. I absolutely do. Fall into the single. <laughs> All right, let's um, adjust. Hi guys, I just stepped out of our meeting with my team. Bye Alicia. Where I debuted my Alicia Keys no makeup look. Some of them immediately noticed a glow, while other people were like, what's the difference? As you already know, I already don't wear makeup, so I'm not really surprised by that reaction. I'm excited to see how this day unfolds. Okay. It's been a couple of hours. My nose is a tiny bit shiny, but my glow is totally on point. Okay, kids, this is my Alicia Keys approved food. Definitely part of amazing skin is not just the stuff that you put on it, but what you put into your body. Let's be real, she wasn't the first person to hit Instagram and social media in general among the celebrities and not have makeup on. I think that it was such a big deal because in May she wrote this Lenny letter in which she was basically like, look, I don't wanna be bound to makeup. So, I just washed my face after trying out Alicia Keys' no makeup regimen, and I have to say, it's been a really fun day. Some people remarked that I had a glow, while others honestly didn't notice anything at all. I'm not surprised by either response. What really matters is that I had a ton of fun and definitely learned some tricks that I'll be using from now on. No one, anyway, I can't sing like her, but you know what I'm talking about. No one starts trends better than Alicia Keys. I had to try that, but don't worry. I'll shut up now since we've got even more We Tried It's for you. This one involves sheep's placenta. It's true, watch. I'm here at Diana Spa in New York City to do a sheep placenta facial. Super excited. So I have Olga and Inessa here who are going to tell us a little more about the sheep placenta facial. First things first, is there like an actual placenta being put on my face? There's essence of placenta. 
sheet placenta being put on your face. Where exactly does the sheet placenta come from? Uh, all our product comes from Australia and New Zealand. As far as like extreme facials and treatments go, this is pretty affordable, right? How much is, would this it cost is. here? The treatment on its own is $90. So what is the exact process that I'm gonna go through today? Well, she's gonna take off your makeup, mm -hmm. then she's gonna clean your skin, put the steam on so it opens up your pores, and then from then on, we start using all the placenta product and you're gonna look fabulous. Am I gonna actually see like results right away? Oh, well, indeed, see results. It helps uh, lift your skin, promotes collagen, elasticity, and you're gonna walk out of here with an instant glow. Oh my gosh, I have to figure out something to do tonight. So. Definitely do. <laughs> right now, we're just working a cleanser in you, removing any makeup you have on, any debris from being outdoors. It feels like foamy and fresh. So we just applied a pre-steam gel on your skin, which is made from placenta, and it's the first product we're using with the placenta in it. Placenta basically helps promote collagen, and as we get older, we start losing collagen, and this kind of promotes it and helps with elasticity and helps lift the skin. It's really light and fresh and smells really nice. I don't know, Jeremy, would you get a placenta facial? Uh, would honest, you do it? It does look relaxing. I'm not opposed to it. Can that many people be wrong is the real question. I don't, I don't know if I would. It's just, the, I feel like the, the texture and everything, I don't, I don't think. It's all about knowing. It should just sit down, do the facial, and then find out after. You wouldn't think a thing about it during the process, but okay. just knowing just it was. We'll go get one then. Okay, okay. let's do it. <laughs> Coming up tomorrow from Babies to Breakups, we are counting down the biggest stories this year, including singer Jordan Sparks' exclusive reveal that she's married and expecting her first child. That blew our minds. Plus, Anna Ferris and Chris Pratt's surprising split after almost a decade of marriage. That uh, one definitely so took us by surprise. Yes, well, thanks for watching and see you tomorrow.